friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. Today is Friday, so it is weigh-in day. We're gonna talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload five videos every single week and Friday is always weigh-in day. We always talk about how my week went, my weigh-in, and we'll go over the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Make sure you check out the description box down below where I will link nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. This is what I followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Jump in to my weigh-in, my week, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Before we jump into my week, I wanted to give you guys an update on the Carmen's Medicinal CBD Gummies. I have had a lot of you reach out and ask if Troy and I are still taking these and what are our thoughts on these. So I wanted to give you a little bit of an update. And if you missed my video where I shared Carmen's Medicinals, definitely check it out. I actually have already finished the Focus Gummy. And yes, we still take the CBD gummies daily. Troy swears by these. You guys know he has a lot of health issues with his legs and circulation and his legs feel really heavy. He's in pain daily. These CBD gummies have helped him out greatly. What I love about Carmen's Medicinals is they are top notch quality. All the ingredients are the best of the best. There's no fillers and the gummies are enriched with turmeric and ginger with help, which helps with inflammation. That is one of the main reasons Troy and I take these. I suffer from inflammation. He definitely suffers from inflammation and I really appreciate the addition of the turmeric and the ginger. These are 25 milligram broad spectrum CBD gummies infused again with turmeric and ginger. Each each gummy is carefully crafted to deliver a potent dose of CBD, complemented by the natural soothing properties of turmeric and invigorating essence of ginger. These are perfect for those seeking a holistic approach to health. We take two CBD gummies every 24 hours. We, when I started taking CBD gummies, because I had never taken them in the past until I discovered Carmen's Medicinals, I started with one gummy and then worked my way up to two. So I would recommend if you're new to CBD gummies, start with one and then work your way up to the two per day. So remember, that depending on your height, your weight, and how used to CBD you are in general, it can take some time for the benefits of the gummies to kick in. I noticed the benefits relatively quickly. It did take a little bit longer for Troy because he has taken CBD products in the past. I also appreciate these gummies because unlike THC gummies, these don't give you any of the unwanted side effects. So yes, we still take these. Yes, we still love these. These are definitely our go-to CBD gummies. They're much more affordable than other gummies out there and much higher quality ingredients. So I will link them down below with a discount. Definitely recommend if you're looking for a good CBD gummy and that has the benefits of the turmeric and ginger for inflammation. So now let's jump in to you a little bit about my week. So last week's weigh-in, I gained one pound on the scale. I wasn't concerned about it because I was about to start my cycle. Well, I started my cycle this week and it was an interesting first few days. I definitely didn't feel the best. I was very fatigued and very tired. I did end up getting in all of my workouts this week despite being on my cycle, but I definitely didn't feel my best this week. I had, like I said, a lot of moments of fatigue and tiredness, which is common for me when I'm on my monthly cycle. And again, my weight fluctuates pretty regularly but even more on my cycle. I did see my weight kind of drop back down right before I started my cycle. And then during my cycle, it does a lot of this. And then after my cycle finishes, within a few days, again, it kind of trends downward. It is so incredibly important to know your body, to understand weight fluctuations and what happens with your body at specific times during the month. I do track my cycle in the Flow app, F-L-O. I highly recommend tracking your cycle so that you kind of understand those weight fluctuations even more and I know how my body responds throughout the month. And like I always say, I get about one good week a month. One good week a month where my weight is stable and the rest of the month, it's all over the place. And that's kind of what this week looked like all over the place. It was definitely up and down on the scale. I was a little bit sore the first part of the week. Julia at boot camp, our boot camp coach has really been pushing us and I've been feeling a lot more sore and 
my muscles have been a little bit more fatigued from boot camp, which is not a bad thing. I'm not mad about it. That means I'm broking, breaking them down and they will rebuild and grow. But I did notice a little extra soreness this week. So I really relied on my creatine and my BCAAs from one up to just combat that a little bit. But besides the fatigue and tiredness, I had a really good week. We had dinner out on Monday for my father-in-law's 73rd birthday. Today, I'm going to lunch with some of my girlfriends from boot camp. It's my good friend Melissa's 40th birthday this weekend. So we are going to lunch today. It's my boot camp girls night tomorrow. And then Sunday is Melissa's surprise birthday party. So it is a cram packed weekend where I will not have a lot of control over my food. So I'm going to do my best to choose healthy options, but I'm also going to enjoy Melissa's birthday. I'm sure I'll have birthday cake on Sunday. We're doing our girls night Saturday night. We're eating out. So I'm sure I'll have a nice meal then. It's just going to be a really fun week packed with some of my favorite people and really just getting out and doing things, which makes me super happy. I also hiked to my mom which is that big hill mountain in Tucson with my good friend Lisa yesterday. On Tuesday, I took Lola to her oncologist just for blood work to see how everything was working, how she was doing on her chemotherapy. She goes to chemo for four weeks, then she has a week off. And on that week off, they still like to test her blood, make sure everything looks good. And she is taking a medication that can lower her blood pressure. So they also check her blood pressure. So it was a very busy week. It was a very, very busy week, but overall, it was a good week. But before I share how my actual weigh-in went this morning, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. That is how to make grocery shopping easier. This is something I get asked a lot. How do I navigate grocery shopping? How do I build a list, plan my meals, make it through the grocery store without unwanted things entering my cart? So I was excited to see this topic this week. Stocking up your kitchen with healthy options doesn't have to be so time consuming and overwhelming. Here's a game plan for navigating the grocery store. The store itself, choose a go-to spot. It should check off most of the important boxes for you. Close to home, work, online ordering, in your budget, the right size, and stocks your favorite items. Then pay attention to the layout. Learn where your staples live. It may take a few trips or online orders, but you'll save search time in the long run. Then of course we wanna formulate our list. Organize it by department. Group items based on location so you're less likely to have to double back. And then rely on your schedule. Plan a day and time to shop. Try to make it a routine so you don't waste time deciding when to go or get stuck at peak hours or not going at all. And remember, weekdays are a little bit less crowded if you can swing it. And for a bonus, impulse buys. Resist with the right tools. Eat before you go. It's true. It can help you stick to your list. Use the WW barcode scanner to see how items impact your budget and make a no buy list. Add foods you tend to overeat and decide not to keep them on hand. So to be honest with you, throughout my entire 140 pound weight loss and into maintenance, I do all of these things. I make a meal plan every month. I actually sell my meal plan in my Facebook group. If you're interested, it's only $25 a month for 20 dinners, four breakfasts, four lunch, four snacks. I will put my Facebook group down below if you're interested in picking up the meal plan. Once I've established my meal plan, I plan out my menu each week. I take the items from the recipes, put them on my grocery list, and I personally grocery shop Wednesday mornings around 7 a.m. after boot camp. I find that it is quiet in store. It's mainly older people and myself, and I'm able to pick up some really good meat deals typically in the early mornings at both Sprouts, Walmart, and my local Kroger store, and I'm in and out by 8 a.m. It's just what works for me. I'm consistent with it. I do it every single week, and I also really focus on the perimeter of my grocery store and just navigating into the inner aisles for a few things. I really try to stick with the whole real food, which which is typically located on the perimeter of your grocery store. When our life gets hectic, grocery shopping can fall to the bottom of our list. Plus there's a lot of people out there who hate to grocery shop. I love to grocery shop, really, really love to grocery shop, but if you hate it, use online pickup or delivery. Also by using online pickup or delivery, you're less tempted to add other things to your cart. But by spending a little bit of time planning and strategizing, you can make your grocery tri store trips less overwhelming, less annoying, and much more healthy for your overall health and wellness journey. Streamline the process. This is going to make it a lot less daunting. If you love to grocery shop, you can still streamline the process. I definitely make it easier on myself once I get to the grocery store. And again, utilizing things like grocery pickup and delivery is gonna prevent you from putting extra things in your shopping cart and never go to the grocery store hungry. Never ever go to the grocery store hungry. I think these are some amazing tips from Weight Watchers that really help us navigate grocery shopping 
shopping to help our weight loss journey be a little bit more successful. Let me know down below which of these tips do you do most often and what can you actually work on to make grocery shopping a little easier and more successful for you. So now let's jump into my weigh-in. Like I said last week, I was actually up a pound on this scale wasn't concerned about it. Weight fluctuation is totally normal and maintenance is a range, not a number. So I have about a five to eight pound range that I like to stay in, preferably a five pound range, but I'm okay in that seven, eight pound range as well because I know that weight fluctuation is very common. I also am okay with weight fluctuations. I know that there's a lot of factors that play into that, working out, the foods that I'm eating, hormones, monthly cycles for us women. There's a lot of different factors that play into our weight. And when I stepped on the scale today, kind of tailing towards the end of my cycle, I was actually up point four pounds on the scale. So over the last couple weeks, I'm up about 1.4 pounds. Again, I'm not concerned about it. 0.4 to me is nothing. Even that pound gain could be a multitude of things. It could be a true weight gain. It could actually be that I took a pound of fat and replaced it with a pound of muscle so the scale doesn't change, but my body changes. And in fact, a few of you have reached out to me over the last few weeks and asked if I've lost more weight because you think I look smaller and leaner in my, in my videos. I actually haven't. If anything, I'm up in weight a little bit, but down in inches up in weight, down in inches. That is fat loss. Pound of fat replaced with a pound of muscle. Scale doesn't move, but the body changes. So it could be a multitude of things why my weight is up, but I'm completely okay with it. I'm well within my range. I'm happy with my how my body looks, I'm happy with my physical capabilities, all those NSVs, those are the things that matter way more to me. And to be honest with you, I'm not really interested in being in a big caloric deficit or having to restrict my food or my lifestyle to lose a few pounds, I'm happy where I am. And I'm just curious to see what my weight does next week. Once my cycle is over, will I still be up on the scale? Will it level out? What will happen? We shall see it next Friday. Now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week, your weigh-in, did you gain, did you lose? What are some of your tips and tricks for grocery shopping? Let me know everything down below. And if you enjoyed another weigh-in, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. And don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. And if you're interested in my meal plan, all of the information is posted in that free Facebook group. Thank you for watching. Happy Friday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul.